What's up guys, welcome to another Slay This Fire video, and in this video guys, we're going to take a look at Electrodynamics Plus. Electrodynamics is a new lightning card that they, a new lightning power rather, that they added that does AoE lightning damage, and if it's single target, it does double damage. Now, I've been using this card a lot recently, and it's been extremely successful in almost every single time that I've used it. In this particular run, we kind of take a look at Echo Form Electrodynamics, and it gets extremely nutty. I think this card is in a very good place, I hope it's not in too good of a place, because it's probably going to get tuned or nerfed or something along those lines. Ignore the leak talk in the beginning. That's just some, I was responding to some of the chat. Aside from that, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Drop a like if you guys did. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Briefly when it came out. And then I, I just, I still ended up, I still ended up just quitting. I quit league basically. But um, I, I, I saw that after I left and quit and I main Swain when he wasn't reworked and stuff like that, that Swain became the new meta and was like the next big pick in top and in mid lane. And I was like, okay, that's wonderful. Yeah, my, uh, there's Swain, right? And uh, where was that when I was playing? But um, yeah, I, I quit League because it got to a point where League was, as you know, not only toxic, but you're spending so much of your time trying to grind and focusing on rank and getting so competitive about this rank that you are and this elo that you can get. It's just a huge time sink. So unless you're making lots of money doing that for an audience then it's or you're a professional i i just can't do it i can't do it you have for turn hey welcome back man so guys i'm so upset that i didn't take elite plus last turn and i, I think that was the biggest thing and i'm promise i'm gonna bring a win right now guys let's let's talk about tor toy orny ornithopter it's not good is it it's not good at all is there another shop mm, there's not I mean, I, I will just remove a strike then. So I'm going for a really early elite. So we need defense. We need offense really bad. We need offense extremely bad. I like finesse as a card. I like turbo as a card. But if this is the gremlin, I'm, I'm always thinking this elite could be gremlin knob. That's the most punishing. So we got to focus on the gremlin knob. And what's going to be the best thing for gremlin knob? Attack potion could be good. Lock on could be good just for the nine damage that it's doing. But it doesn't really help in ground the knob, honestly. Uh, I mean, stack. Turbo is not really doing anything either, unless I have something to dump the energy in. Okay, I'll do this. I'll buy the attack potion. That could help me against ground the knob some way, somehow. We'll see what happens here. We need more offense. Oh, no, I need more offense now against in act one for the gremlin knob the reason why i get at offense in act one because offense is still very important and i was doing just fine in act one i think i just got carried away started doing consume capacitor stuff like i bought two capacitors which i hate capacitor as a card because it's expensive and the immediate value of capacitor is none it just gives you an orb slot one energy one card and you have to fill that slot thereafter and hope that you have focus already set up Capacitor is just awful. And I took two of them, which is bad. And then I took Sukum Beam. I, mean, I already I repeated myself so many times. I'm still thinking about how bad that was. Anyways, we do Leap. I said I needed offense, and I took Leap. We're probably dead at this Elite. 100%. I have nothing to win this Elite fight. At all. I have nothing to win this elite fight. Mm. This ground and I were probably ripped. Give me something offensive. Uh, so there's skim, which could help with right playing things in the future. Hologram's not really gonna help. Jesus Christ! If this is ground and I, we're so dead. We're fine. Honestly, I think we're going to go ahead and do attack potion here. We got saved by the high roll in this elite fight. I'm very happy that this is the elite fight we're taking right now.
Hey, thank you, Lowcraft. I appreciate it, man. I know they're wrong. It's hard for me to make short videos and say this by, right? Because the runs are so long, and then, like, I could do snippets of the runs, but then. That's not the same, is it? It's not the same. I I'm gonna do Scrape. Maybe Scrape is doing something good here. That was stupid. This is punishing. That was punishing. You enjoy the long videos personally? Oh, I'm glad. Yeah, Grabbing Lab, so Grabbing Lab would, would, would destroy me, basically. We would play a league from all the season, what all this at the start of the season. Triple Sessions often wreck you. Yeah, Triple Sessions could be punishing. But, um, I would say Triple Ooh. I would say that Triple Sessions is probably the easiest, though, right now. For my deck, right? Because my, because I, I, I can, I can consistently defend at least a little bit because I have two leaps and stuff. That I, I th I'm gonna take the risk. Actually, we don't need to take a risk. GG. Okay, we still took a lot of damage, but that's much better than what the, we got. Toxic Egg, which is probably one of my favorite relics to take in the, to get in the beginning. We get offer Electrodynamics, which can give us a lot of damage, or we can get Glacier Plus with Toxic Egg. I mean, okay. I mean, we have to do Electrodynamics, right? So, Glacier Plus is obviously so good. But Electrodynamics, though, right? Ah, uh, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. Oh, man. Wait, do I have the rests? So, if I go for this fight, and this says the Grunland Knob, I'm probably screwed. But if it's the uh, Laga Vulin, I can probably handle it. I think we don't take the risk. I think we upgrade this, we don't take the risk. Another Electrodynamics game. Ooh, we got the pair. Mm. Yes, so speedrunning obviously would make the, the run shorter. That's that's one way to do it. You could argue, okay, Electrodynamics would probably make me win this fight easier. But maybe I could win without Electrodynamics and I don't have to take this extra damage. But I'll play it. So probably boring. What happened? What is... Am I the person that attacks in the middle century first? Yeah, you, sh you are, because, uh, blob slime. The reason why you attack the left and right is because they are attacking at the same time. So when you attack the middle one, you're basically making it so that you're going to get attacked for nine, uh, 18 twice. Like, 18, then nothing, 18, then nothing. Whereas if you attack the, uh, the sides, you stagger it, so it's always nine, 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 nine. Because of the nature of the fight, there's going to be a lot of dazed involved. So when you attack the guys on the right and stagger it to 9-9, nine, nine, you can defend easier with one defend here, here and there with the days clogging up your hands. Whereas if you do the middle guys, 18-0, 18-0, it's much harder to defend because you're going to have bad draws and you probably don't have consistent every other turn 18 block. So you got to be killing the guys on the left and right first. Ideally, you want to attack the guy who has the least health on left or right. I guarantee that fight is going to be so much easier for you. You're probably going to have the you're probably gonna be a Sancho team tomorrow with that in mind. Cause I don't know how you're doing that fight without doing that. Recycle, Chaos, Barrage. Okay, Chaos Plus or Recycle Plus. Uh, I guess Chaos Plus could be more lightning, it could be plasma, it could be other stuff. We'll do the Chaos Plus. We'll try it out. Go for the RNG. Ah, uh, that's a lot of upgrades, which is taking a lot of damage. I think we're not going to do it. I'd rather just upgrade what I want to upgrade. Electrodynamics Plus is so much fun. I agree. It really is. So this is like GG. Beautiful. We got Recursion. So Recursion is not bad because with the Electrodynamics, Recursion is going to be doing some stuff. And with the Chaos, potentially the Dark Orb, this could be doing some stuff. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I like it. I like it. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. 
Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade the turbo. Maybe the skim. Well, turbo gives us so we have we can have better turns. Leap is not a bad upgrade. It's giving me better block. It's kind of not the best upgrade. I guess dual cast would be good with the electrodynamics. All right, this is a fight that we gotta get electrodynamics out ASAP. A repeat ASAP. Hit the guy on the right. Yes. That's why we upgraded dual cast because we could also do things like that. So this is electrodynamics or bust in this fight. And we got plasma from the chaos. We're feeling like a king right now. Is a dead car so often? Yeah, so turbo is not good in every situation. I think turbo makes more sense when you're trying to um table turbo makes more sense when you're trying to get high low tempo cards, high cost cards. So you, so things like Echo Form that you want to play or creative AI, things like that. Or expensive cards like Sunder or whatever. It's not good in a lot of situations. And Triple could be good if you also have decent card draw with machine learning or you have things like skims. I only took it because I, I do plan to maybe at some point get some expensive cards. I took Turbo a little premature in this in this game. Focus or power potion? I think focus potion would do pretty good with the lecture dynamics in this fight in particular. So I think instead of the dexterity pot, which could help against this big hit, I'm gonna go for the focus pot. And we got auto shields plus, which I think is a great defense. So we're stacked. We'll do auto shields though. I'm not gonna rest. Uh, we're, we're, we're actually reaching a point where like... So I like skin plus because it allows me to draw more cards to so look for uh, the electric dynamics. But also since I have turbo I can draw more cards and maybe play things I want to play. Let's see what powers we get. Ooh, that could be useful later on. Do -do 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 -do. Da, 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 da. Uh, meteor with um meteor and turbo you guys saw that you guys saw that video i'm pretty sure i did the same thing for a long time now if i have holiday for one week broken humongous hello man how you doing welcome so we got auto shield we got zap right and then we can go ahead and do recursion on the dark just to get a little bit of damage in all that's free and we can do leap defense yeah we'll take a little bit of damage but it's all good we gotta keep in mind that Lightning's procking twice, so if I were to attack him now, this is do I'm doing eight damage at the end of the turn, right? So he's gonna drop down to eighty-five, right? So if I do strike, it's gonna be seventy-nine. And I think seventy-nine is fine. I could strike again, then it's gonna proc him. So I'd rather not proc him. I'd rather try to get that dark orb scaled over. The ideal thing for me to do right now would be. Uh, get dark and go into the front, right? Get rid of the slime. We're gonna strike because he's gonna get procced anyways. And I need to get dark to the front with either. Oh well, this is like so. Bias cognition is insane here. Let me explain. So if I do zap, right? Whoever it hits, it hits both of them. Forgot. Dual cast is doing some work here. I could wait an extra turn, but I'll do this. It's fine. Now this is going to be doing 8 twice, 16. And we're going to have lethal. That's beautiful. That's gorgeous. GG. What an easy fight. Love it. Fruit juice. Echo form reboot rainbow. Okay, so rainbow gives us more dark and allows us to do... Even more lightning with Electro Dynamics, but Echo Form is insane. And because we have Turbo, I'm a really big fan of Echo Form because I can get it out with Turbo, and then from there, Echo Form is just insane. But Reboot also helps you get some card draw and help you get things going like the Electro Dynamics. But I think Echo Form is the play. Oh, Pandora's Box is not bad because we have Toxic Egg. Pandora's Box could be okay. And I think we have a lot of defense as it is. So I might go for Pandora's Box here. It was at this moment, Jeremiah knew he fucked up. It's not too bad, right? So we got... Uh, maybe Philosopher's Stone was better, but we got sk three skims in our deck. Two cold snaps. A cool edit for some more card draw. Got a steam barrier, which is not going to be bad. And then go for the eyes. That's alright. I have a lot of defense. I'm fine. 
Echo Farm is going to make this fight or make this game. Okay. Not to mention, we're going against the champ, so maybe we'll look for a darkness now. Uh, we have four, four rest and one elite. Over here, we got three rest, one elite. Over here, we got three, two elites, four rests. And over here, we got no elites and three rests. So this path is the best because if I feel like I can't fight an elite, I can just avoid them all together. I think our deck is fine because... Well, that's not fine. That's not fine at all. That's not fine at all. We're losing the Echo Form. We need to upgrade that ASAP. I guess we could do Turbo. Still not enough. Still not enough. We need to upgrade Turbo ASAP. But we're playing a lot of cards per turn. That's, I mean, that's a plus. Now, so we gotta upgrade the turbo so we can get electrodynamics out with things like skim, right? And with, because we have so many skims, turbo has become much more valuable. I like the auto shields. I like the chaos recursion. Leap. I mean, our defense is fantastic. Was that a voice crack? Uh, unfortunately, it was. I was trying not to put, trying not to put a mention to it. <laughs> it was. It, yeah, no, it wasn't a voice crack. I'm talking about. Yeah, it was. Unfortunately, I try not to talk about it. Can we just not talk about it? What do I gotta do to make you care? It's sad, so sad. Why can't we talk it over? I wish I could play this song, but the copyright's gonna destroy me, right? Hologram Plus. Sure. Wow. We got Panache, we got Blinds. I think. You're back with tacos? Oh man, you gotta give me some tacos. Put them in the mailbox. I don't care if they're soggy. I really want some tacos. I think Frozen Egg is calling to me, because like we want to get the omelet run first off, but it also, I mean, when it's so close to my gold that I have now, we gotta take the Frozen Egg, right? So we can argue that Panache is okay. So who's the boss? The champ, right? Panache is not really the, the damage you want against. It, it would help against the champ, and we do have ways to get a lot of Panache procs with like the recursion, and I guess the zap, some of the skim turbo stuff I might be doing, some of the echo form stuff I might be doing. I think blinds, the like AOE weaken is pretty nice, and we have the skim to draw into that. I think that's really good. I think we're moving something that I don't like. So, for instance, I don't think I like all these cold snaps. I might remove one of the cold snaps, keep the deck smaller. Beam cell is interesting to make. Nah, it's not really working with my deck. So, bowl gives me more max HP, but I can't do both, right? So, I'm gonna go remove the cold snap. Although, yeah, let's remove the cold snap. I mean, that's like some of my only damage. But I'm hoping that with echo form, and we're gonna really go all in on electrodynamics here. I would fight this. I guess I could fight this. I can lose 66 gold, but I don't want them to laugh at me first off. And maybe I should just let them laugh at me. So here's the thing I could do, right? I could do auto shield or I can do steam or cold snap. St steam bear. I guess auto shield is just better, but I like having the frost out. It's okay, me too, Guta. I'm in the same boat. So if we need electrodynamics, we got it. We got double electrodynamics. So if we do dual casts, it's doing some stuff. It's not, I mean, I gotta drink this for stuff. We're taking damage, but once we get the lightning going, we're fine. I mean, you could argue that I could've done recursion and then dual cast on the, the block, that's probably better. I want to bring Zap back. Because I think bring Zap back or we're killing that guy, right? Because this is doing... Should 
Shouldn't it be going twice? Shouldn't that be hitting twice? Like, why didn't it work that way? Didn't it work that way last time? I'm pretty sure last time it... Didn't it not hit twice last time? I took so much damage for no reason. It's okay. It's okay. I'll take Terra Plus. So we have Turbo Skim deck. So against this Time Eater, we're probably going to be suffering. But against anybody else, I guess we'll have some good tempo. You got to be careful not to play too many Turbos. How good is Singing Bowl? Uh, it's, a, it's a good... It is good. Singing Bowl is very good. Double Electro. We got Recursion. Got a Leap. We could Dual Cast just to get the damage. That's... Lethal. Oh. So we need we need some kind of way to draw, right? So impulse is not bad because with the electrodynamics, impulse is probably insane. Remove or upgrade. So we can remove since we don't have anything to upgrade. Yeah, so we can remove the second cold snap and make this deck all about lightning. This deck is all about lightning. It's lightning or bust. That's what it is, guys. We're lightning or busts. I like it. I think it's fun. I mean, Capacitor is a, makes a little bit more sense now. So we do have the skim to draw into Capacitor. And we have Turbo to play it. And if we have more orb slots with the Electrodynamics, we're probably doing a lot of work, right? So Capacitor makes a little bit more sense now. You could argue, okay, stack is more defense and we can never have enough defense. Let's take a look, because this time I wasn't counting. Leap, leap. Auto shields. Hologram, cool-headed, steam barrier, and that's it. Honestly, that's not enough. We need more defense. You could argue, okay, we have skim and hologram, we're probably doing more stuff. I'm going to go ahead and get another defensive card. So we probably should rest because we're about to go to an elite. We don't have to do the elite, but we're going to get two upgrades if we do. What would I upgrade if I... I think we don't upgrade anything. We could upgrade the second turbo... I think we rest. Centennial puzzle, okay. I want to keep evoking too, yes. But I have chaos, which does too. Okay, so we want to find electrodynamics ASAP. Or echo form, either or. And we have echo form as well, right? So echo form is a big part of my strategy. So that means that I'm going to be able to... I'm gonna be able to evoke with Echo Form. There it is. Unfortunately, we can't play Auto Shields and Echo Form. And this is why we need to find Turbo. And the Turbos are all in the discard, both of them. So if we do Echo Form now, we're taking 18 damage to the face. And frankly, that's not okay. That's quite unfortunate, actually. So we can do Skim, look for Blinds. Got the blinds, all right? Which means we could do extra dynamics, but again, we can't do that and play and defend. So, man, we're in a very tough predicament because we can't play this important card. Because all the turbos are in the, def the, de the defense. And the discard, rather. Yikes. This is a yikes. I suppose if we're going to win this fight, we're going to have to play extra dynamics as soon as possible. So we take the hit now. And we take the hit now, right? And, and, this, and then we do dual casts. That's what needs to happen. It's going to be okay in the long run. The alternative is to play auto shields and then do what? Impulse? And then I take all these days in my life? That's not good. Mm, this is going to be rough. I keep playing cards. <sighs> I 
This fight's rough for me. I have so many skills. Okay. So I, I guess this is fine to play extra dynamics now because we have plasma so we can get the plasma going. And that's actually fine. Oh, we're fine here. We're actually okay. This actually only does one damage. Because of the the way the birds take the damage, I have to do that first. And I could block in full. Or I could take one damage. I mean... Let's just not... Let's just take the one damage. It's fine. Bad time to get dual cast. Uh, next turn is probably going to be a pain in the ass. They don't, Red Fury, unfortunately. Unfortunately, the birds do not take full damage from the orbs. They change this with that lightning. I don't know if it's a bug or not. There's a clip I just put on my channel. I put a clip. The, the birds are taking half damage from the lightning. And it, uh, it sucks. A fight. Took some damage, but, you know, it could be worse. Chaos again. I feel like we don't want another Chaos. We think we're fine. You could argue yeah, another Lightning is not bad. I think our deck's benefit from being small and doing what it's doing. I'm going to go ahead and skip. I'm going for this Elite. We got another shop. Reinforced Body would have been fantastic. I would have really liked Reinforced Body. I kind of like the Rebounds, because Rebound can means I can do Zap, Dual Cast a couple times. Um, I like the rebounds here. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's it. Hmm. I go for him first turn. So it would be ideal if we can, like, skim into turbo and get lucky. Uh, echo form first turn means we take damage, but... We want to play electrodynamics as well. I wish I had enough energy to do skim, maybe hopefully find a turbo. And then we can play everything, but... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Maybe Electrodemics is better, just for the AoE. I can bring back Electrodynamics, but I don't have the energy for it. Yet again, don't have the energy. So I could block with Hologram Steam Barrier and then play Electrodynamics. But if I want a full block, well, I have Echo Form, actually. I have Echo Form, so if I do Steam Beer twice, then Hologram, I can get the Electrodynamics out. That's fine. Maybe I should have done Hologram twice to get the, the go for the eyes. I wish I could kill that girl, so I might be dead next turn, depends on what I draw. The triple's at the bottom of my deck, right? So I wouldn't have gotten triple if I tried. Uh, <clears throat> we can do double blind, or we can just do double stack, which is doing 17 block, 34 block. Blind, even easier. Uh, we can get the chaos out. Got frost. We can go ahead and do skim now that we have turbos, right? So we can do things like zap. We can do, a, we can do turbo just to get another frost. I think we just want to keep it at that. We don't want to get into the void, right? The void's going to mess us up. So our defense is obviously insane once we get the Echo Form out. So we have double Recursion, which is giving us 5 block. Or we have double Leap, which is giving us 18 block. I think Skim is fine. I like the Zap. In fact, I like the Hologram into Zap, right? Because that makes it so that I can do Recursion now. Right? Right? Plus, this is all going to be AoE damage because of the Electrodynamics. On top of the fact that we already covered the block. So if we can find something nice with Echo Form, we have Lethal here. Like, I'm looking for... Impulse is okay. So that's double Impulse. That's doing 18 damage AoE. It's killing all of these guys. 
Alright. Now we just need to find something to kill this dude. I'm going to do skim because Steam Bear is going to cover this. Easy. Not too bad. Not too shabby. You got the Regal Pillar, which is perfect because we're about to go and rest. And we got the Glacier. So Glacier is good defense. Uh, static Discharge gives us more lightning. So if our strategy right now is to play like only around Electric Dynamics, and like, if we're going to kill the champ with lightning only and the Echo Form, Static Discharge makes sense because we might just make it so that we take some damage here and there. And if we can get the Echo Form on the Static Discharge, we're going to be doing so much lightning damage, it's insane. But it's a little bit dangerous because you might get to a point where like you can't control the damage you're doing and you might split the champ earlier than you intend. But that could be insane. I think Glacier just gives me more consistent f block, frost, and it also gives me a way to evoke orbs when I need to, right? So... I think we're gonna go for monsters again. Uh, we got this fight, no problem. I guess we could turbo and look for electrodynamics. Blind's not bad either. Glacier's not bad either, actually. You got the champ down, nice man. Okay, let's let's go ahead and skim. Oh, we have we have echo form, right? So double chaos is interesting. But so is double skim, because I can look for electrodynamics and then use turbo and get electrodynamics out. Recursion's also free. But double chaos could be plasma. It could be uh, I'll go for it. It could be interesting. Got dark orbs. Got some plasma. So now recursion's an energy gain, right? So we can do hologram recursion again. Now we can skim again, right? Oh, I did that wrong. Whoops. Impulse is an energy game, that's fine. Skim, look for electrodynamics, we found it. That's fine. Um, we could do cool headed. Get rid of the plasma and go for more stuff, or... We could say, you know what, we're fine here. I think we're fine here. So now we got to get the lightning out, because now that we have electrodynamics out, we're, we're doing some good stuff. I think chaos again is fine. Although I would really like to, I would like to get some card draw going, right? Because we're gonna have five energy here and not enough card draw, so I think we're gonna have to double steam barrier here. I don't know if I want to get rid of the plasma, but at least it makes it so that I get dark orb scaling. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. At least we get card draw now. With the Centennial Puzzle. Recursion twice is doing... Lethal on this guy. And then we could do Auto Shields Blind. We can draw now. Okay, so I like Impulse here. I like Turbo. I actually like doing... Skim for Hologram to do Impulse again. Right? So then when I do dual cast, I'm doing some good deeps. Actually, I like doing zap here. So dual cast is actually fine. And it should be done next turn. We're doing great. We're doing great stuff. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I think we're going to be fine here, guys. Focus, energy plot. I like the focus for this fight. I don't like any of these. I could rest, but I'm kind of wasting some of my stuff. I want to go ahead and upgrade. I think we upgrade Turbo just in case. So actually, the weekend might be really useful in this fight. And I think Echo Form we're playing no matter what. So I'm not going to waste an upgrade there. I think with Turbo will give us better turns and also help us find the Echo, get the Echo Form out. Although the weekend would be pretty nice as well. But we're going to get Turbo. And I think we got this. Got the skim. We got the turbo. Alright, it's not enough. I guess we could do skim again since we do have turbo. So if we find Echo Form, we did. We can play it, right? Uh, unfortunately, we also want to play Electrodynamics. But we can't do both. But, which is actually not bad. You know what? Because now we can Echo Form Electrodynamics, which is what I want to do anyways. I think I want to get as much value as possible out of this Electrodynamics. So I'm actually happy I didn't get to play it. 
I would rather play Echo Form on it first, anyways. We get a hologram and bring back the straw, actually. Mmm, Glacier's fine. I don't want to push him too much, right? I want to make sure I get everything out first. Hey, what's up, Valley? How do you like the new Thunder Power? I think it's nice. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of it. I think I'm, I'm liking it a lot. I'm liking it a lot. Can you echo? Yes, it does. It does it four times. So if I do this, let me show you. Red Fury. It's going to hit this guy four times. So this is what I killed on one of my other earlier runs. Electro Dynamics with the four times. It's really nice. It makes... Um, I might as well do Blind again. Or I can Skim look for Zap. So now that we have that out, we want to try to get some focus. Oh, I have Focus Pie, which I didn't use. My bad. Yeah, so Zap is good now. So Zap is basically me pushing for damage. I mean, you gotta be a little bit careful, right? Because I I might push for damage prematurely. Gotta be careful. Because I don't have a way to get the focus up like I did, like bias cognition or the, any of the other stuff. Recursion twice is doing a lot of damage. But I probably want to block twice, right? I'd actually rather dot do recursion twice. I did not. I suppose. Where's the capacitor? Don't we? Did we buy a capacitor? I'm pretty sure we bought a capacitor because we we're doing some stuff. I guess we didn't buy a capacitor. I don't know if I want to do this because this is gonna. This is putting him right in the precipice. So next turn he's gonna get split. So what we want to do now is go for it. And I mean really go for it. So, we're gonna zap twice, right? We're gonna hologram the zap. Right? We're gonna rebound the zap. Right? So we get that next turn as well. We're gonna cool head it and play zap again. Right? And then we're gonna hope that... Well, first off, we're, we're destroying this fight. But second off, we're hoping that we get something like... I can echo form that's amazing. Like... Dual casts for one. GG. And that's electrodynamics, baby. That's the power. So now that we have electrodynamics, bias condition is really good. We already saw that combo. And machine learning is obviously really good, but I think yeah, bias condition is the, the combo. Ori, Lizard Tail, or Astrolab. So we have Toxic X, so Ori is a little bit better. Got Elite Plus. I'll think about it. Turbo Plus. I'll think about it. Static Discharge, I like it. Although I do like the Conserve Battery. I do like the Conserve Battery. I like the Chill. Although not really. I don't really like that many cards. I mean, Chill I guess is okay. It could save me in some fights. The Frost. Another Turbo, I guess it's fine. If we're going against a Time Eater, we're not liking all these Turbos. Elite plus. Alright, we're fine. So not an energy relic again. And we're going against time meter. So against time meter, we're gonna have to get everything out like a, the same deal, right? The, the the echo form out. The electrodynamics ideally uh, echo formed, and then we're gonna go for the kill. <laughs> we have an elite force no matter what before campfire. That kind of sucks a little bit. What's the interaction? So the interaction I believe is that's a good question. That is a very good question. It's a fantastic question. And I, I do not know the answer. I have no idea if it go for double or if it goes remain AoE. That's a very good question. Bro, I'm too legit. So electrodynamics into bias cognition is the absolute dream. We want to find more zap stuff. So we want to do 
lines. We want to do the impulse. Unfortunately, we lose the echo form, but that's fine. We just need zap at this point. It's a very good question. That was a monk is turn. That was a monk is turn. That's another monk is turn. A little bit of focus here, maybe like. Oh, glacier was lethal. My bad. If it switched to yeah, if it switched to double, that would be insane. That would be fantastic. I gotta try that. Oh, we got Tempest. That makes so much sense of what our deck is doing. So much sense. Whoa, we get all this gold. Is there a shop? There is a late shop. This is going to be insane. I'm loving it. I'll take it. I can, I can do this fight. Maybe I'm getting a little overambitious, but okay, we got first turn extra dynamics, right? We're going to skim. Ooh, we got rid of the echo form. That's a little bit of a heartbreaker. Not to mention... We can't play the Glacier, and we... Like, this is kind of bad, because we need Glacier for the defense. It's kind of rough. I'm going to go ahead and do the, the Essence here. Uh, even though I'm going to lose the Essence right now, I probably should have played Tempest for, for zero. I will be fine. We'll be fine. See, getting troubles on the wrong turns can lead to bad things. If I do Rebound, Zap, Cool-Headed, I get Zap again. But first, I could do Recursion, right? Then I could do Dual Casts. Then I could do Zap. And we got a Leap Stack, right? So we're good on block, and then we're, we're doing some damage. I think we got through the worst of it. Give me that Rare Relic. And hopefully, ideally, the Rare Relic is going to be... um. So... We wish we had turbo for this impulse, right? Should be GG now. Good consistent block, good damage. Easy rare relic. Easy, easy. A motion chip, that's gonna be interesting. We got loop. I think the new loop is so fantastic, guys. Oh, the new loop is so good. Tiny chest, okay. Lots of gold. Okay, we got auto. Conserve. Ah, is, is Tempest better here? I think Tempest is fine right here. Yes, dude, emotion ship and loop are insane. Like, this is gonna be really nutty, actually. I can't wait to see this. Like, the new loop with the electrodynamics with echo form on top of it, like, this is gonna be potentially really pog champ. I'm hoping it's pog champ. My goal is that it's pog champ. We got the electrodynamics. We also got the echo form. I mean, here's what we could do we could do echo form, right? We can bring back the turbo. We can play the Electrodynamics anyways. Then we do Steam Battery, and then we can do Stack, and we take no damage. Or... We can do... Yeah, we'll do Stack. So all these things are kind of worse against the Time Meter, because that's a lot of cards I'm playing per turn. But even if you play like 6 to 12 cards per turn, you should be fine. Um, I think Recursion Twice is doing some good stuff. But maybe I want to... So Recursion Twice is doing 8 AoE Twice. Whereas this is blocking for 18. I wish, you know what, I'm going to use Swift Potion here. I suppose I could have used Rebound there, and Rebound because I had Cool Headed would have probably been decent there. That was my bad. 
But we got double bias cognition, so it's GG to the nth degree. We also got a loop. I mean, this is so GG is insane. This is so GG, it's insane. Not too bad, not too bad. Not too bad, not too bad. We got D frag. Oh my god, it just gets better and better. Let's hope this elite doesn't kick our ass. We got this, we got this. So our goal here is to, well, first and foremost, I'll play the D frag, it's fine. I, I ideally want to wait for echo form, but okay. What we want to do is actually wait for echo form on the electrodynamics. Otherwise, we're not going to have enough damage. So this guy is, was hard before, and I have only three energy, so we definitely need to get Echo Form first. Alright, so I know I should probably be playing Electric Dynamics. And I'm going to have to wait for the next cycle to get it. But being greedy... So you can argue okay, I can do it now, and maybe we're fine. But I don't think we're going to have enough damage otherwise. I think it pays off to be greedy. But we also have Bias Cognition twice, so maybe we're fine. Maybe we're fine. Ah. I should probably do cool headed just so I can get like some frost with the bias on it. We're, we're, we're gonna go for full damage here. I'm gonna wait on the loop. Yeah, so loop can be what I could wait on. Ah, see, the thing is, skim is not gonna be good for me. I guess I like rebounds into dual casts, but then I'm getting rid of all of my lightning, and it's going to be hard for me to proc lightning again. Whereas, that's going to make... I guess we have double uh, impulse to look forward to, and double loop to look forward to. It's not a very good turn, because if I do skim and I draw into either loop or impulse, I'm feeling pretty bad. I want all of these cards next turn. If I draw into zap, I'm feeling great. So skim is doing drawing my whole, my whole deck, which is not that good. I guess rebound twice just does damage. And I can I can do stack so I have that next turn. I guess I could do dual cast. I'd rather just keep the, the lightning. We got double impulse, right? Glacier's okay. Maybe I should have Glacier. I don't know. We'll see. We got double loop, but then now we're taking damage. So we could say, okay, I could do double steam beer. I think we have to take damage in order to, to, to succeed here. I don't mind doing this. <laughs> I don't mind it. We're taking some damage. That's fine. We got double bias cognition, but again, we don't have. I do double bias cognition. I have leap, steam bearer, conserve battery. I think we're defense, so we're gonna do double bias cognition. We're gonna do recursion, zap. We got Bottle Tornado, wow. That's so good, we got Seek Plus, wow. So we can do Force Fields, because we're gonna play enough powers, but we say Seek Plus first off. Bottle Tornado on the Echo Form. I mean, that was so worth it. Holy shit, and we have so much gold. As long as I don't die in this fight, we're golden. If I die in this fight, I wouldn't be soul tilted. We're GG. GG. Okay, we got double. We got double trouble echo form. Eesh. Eesh. Yeesh. Yeesh. This is bad. 
Yeesh, because now we're losing it. We're losing it, actually. Because of the double by was actually bad, because we're losing twice per turn. It's not doing enough. Defrag is great, right? But then, so Tempest is giving me energy gain back with Plasma, and then I can finish off a Glacier. But because we don't have Electrodynamics, we're not doing as much. At least Defrag's twice is, maybe Glacier twice is just better. We really need Electrodynamics. There it is. GG. We did it. We're saved. Oh my god. Another Tempest Plus. Oh my. Okay, we're doing it. This deck is insane. Rest. Yes. Double Leap. I'll take it. Echo Form. Yes. Okay. Which do which duo run, Kaliba? We talking about? Oh, you're talking about with your brother. Okay. Uh, this gonna be my last defect run. Is it worth to do electrodynamics twice? I mean. I mean, maybe it is, but I'm tired of waiting for it. Tempest twice, not lethal. It could have been lethal. At that point, we were fine. I took no damage after that point, so it's fine. Probably not be doing that. I should keep my. I should be keeping my lightning out there. I I, I should have done a stack or something. I like conserve battery here. So double loop doesn't make a lot of sense here. At least not in this particular position. So we can hologram and bring. I think it's time to bring back the zap. Like we want to get those zaps out there. In fact, I want to do chaos as well. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get the weaken on him. And we got rid of the void, which is fantastic. Impulse twice. I mean, dual cast twice is doing some work. So is zap twice. I mean, they're also good. Impulse twice is giving us energy gain. I mean, they're also good here. Wow. Wow. Focus Pot is actually really good and for the Time Eater. I'm extremely excited for Focus Pot. We have so much gold coming up, guys. So much gold. I like the Defrag Plus. That's going to be fantastic with Echo Form in particular. We have 500, 600 gold. We got another loop. We got Thinking Ahead. We got Letter Opener. Letter Opener is going to be fantastic. I think even the Dark Orb could be good. Uh, if we buy Loop, 
again we're gonna be doing insane stuff and then we also have a removal so we can remove i think at this point i want to remove rebounds i'm not liking what rebounds doing for me i'm gonna remove the rebounds i like the letter opener a lot as well for consistent damage i think we can do a lot of stuff we can buy loop we can remove the rebounds if we can look at some potions we might like maybe like the block potion I think thinking ahead could be useful. Draw cards, place it on top of your hand. So if I don't want to play electric, like this could be really good echo form. I'm only a little bit worried about like I could do chill to get more block early on. I think I'm gonna either so panacea could be useful. I'd rather do like a block pot, and instead of vulnerable pot, I'd rather do like a region pot. I don't care about anything else. You could argue that letter opener is probably better. I had enough money for a good, a good relic there. It probably was better. I think I just screwed myself over. We have regal pillow. We're fine. It stops one of the, the debuffs, and so Panacea is good for that reason. I guess we could add some stuff, let's see. A no dark, dark Shackles is fine. Secret Weapon Mind Blast? Uh... Skip. Well, secret weapon could have been good for what? Nothing really, right? I'm, I'm gonna. So, what would I upgrade? I would upgrade. I mean, at this point, we gotta rest, right? We would upgrade the go for the eyes, maybe. But let's go ahead and rest. Alright, so we got a focus pot. We got a region pot. We had echo form first turn. We're taking some damage, but that was intentional, right? So, we're gonna do echo form. It's actually fine because what that does is gives me. This gives me card draw, right? With Centennial Puzzle. And now we can start doing what we want to do. At no point did I ever intend to do perfect, right? So we got double loop. And already I'm feeling like a king. We can do loop again. So we're doing the first lightning three times. Now we're going to get electrodynamics twice, ideally. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm putting thinking ahead and electrodynamics. We're going to use thinking ahead. And we're putting electrodynamics at the top. That means I can guarantee that next turn we play electrodynamics twice. Can I get a pop champ? Pop champ boot. It's so good to do this. I'm playing it twice. I want you guys to see just how strong this is gonna be with the loop. Let's bask in this for a sec. You think so, Cosmonaut? Well, congrats either way, man. We can go for Tempest straight up, right? But Bias Cognition is going to be fantastic because this is going to give me 8 focus. And then when I do Tempest and Zap, the damage we're going to do is probably going to be bonkers. I'm going to do it. And we're going to go ahead and do Tempest. Guys, Electrodynamics Plus. This is the second time today we've had an absolutely amazing run with it. The Bias Cognitions, oh, the Tempest. Thank you, James Strength or James TR with the Twitch Prime. Appreciate it a lot, man. I mean, 
Lightning deck survival, guys. I want you to take a look at this deck. I think this deck was very clean and that it, it really had a single purpose. And its purpose was to do stuff with lightning. And so look, let's take a look at it. Not many attacks at all. We had two loops, Echo Farm, Bias Cognition, Electrodynamics, the Sheik, the Auto Shields, a lot of consistent defense. So you can see that the, the things that seem to be working are consistent defense. Cool headed hologram, three leaps, three skims, two turbos. This was a Pandora's box run, by the way. I find that whenever I have Toxic Gag as my first relic, I win. And then I've had another game with Toxic Gag Pandora's Box, which I've won. So I feel like Toxic Gag Pandora's Box is pretty successful for me. But this was a great game. I loved it.